feels good. Hey. What you need? <clears throat> you have time to talk now. Still have something important to say. Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. I appreciate your trust. Well, you're the first to earn it. It all starts with two ways of humanity I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then my 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. Eighteen years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. Why didn't you run away? I tried. Twice. The first time I did it, they locked me in a shed outside of the house we lived in. The second time, they broke one of my legs. My god... I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charm and personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. This is as long as you don't get greedy. Broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. I can't believe you tolerated that. I would have killed them all. That's easy for you to say. You weren't there. You have no idea what I went through. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. You did what you had to do. Did I? When I closed me eyes... All I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. Why judge yourself? My parents sold me into slavery. But did they deserve to die for it? Yeah, I took some hard knocks as I was growing up. But they fed me and kept me from glowing with rads. This is the kind of crap that starts me mind wandering and drives me literally to drink. I guess I'm just waiting to hear what you think of me now. Don't worry. I haven't lost faith in you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. I'm just glad I haven't disappointed you. I'm always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you can say that would ever change that. Oh, I, uh, I, well, that's, that's not what I expected you to say. Sorry, I didn't realize you cared that much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you, you'll be there for me. And I'll always be there for you too.